Well, when we, we had a chance to talk a couple weeks ago, and uh, you shared your testimony in that particular conversation, uh, you caught us the day before Good Friday. Yeah. Our uh, staff will be sharing thoughts of reflection this Sunday about Jesus' accomplishments 2,000 years ago. So what is on your mind this year as you reflect on yeah. the cross and the empty grave? Yeah, well, this year very specifically, it's discipline, right? I think about the discipline of Jesus mm. going to the cross. I was in Israel a couple of years ago and I, I walked up the Via della Rosa, you know, uh, that Jesus would have walked as yes. he was carrying his cross. And, you know, when you're reading the Gospels about his stumbling and his falling and his, his picking and up the cross and heaving and making it all the way to Calgary. Um, at every opportunity, he had the chance to smite the entire planet, to wipe it out, to say, you know, I'm done with you. I don't want it. I don't want this cross. But he knew that the joy of the Lord was set before him. That's what he was chasing. It was the joy of the Lord. And so he went towards Calvary, willingly took a cross, bled naked. <laughs> When you think about the Lord naked on a tree, bleeding out because of my sin, my adultery, my fornication, my drunkenness, all these things that, you know, I had spent my life doing before the Lord. And he did it while we were still sinners, not while we were clean, not while we were worthy of anything. He did it while we were still far from him, his enemies. And so it leads me to believe that as a man who follows Jesus, it's time in my life where I became disciplined, that I took up my cross, whatever that might look like. And instead of complaining and whinging and trying to escape it, carried it with some dignity, some integrity, some manliness, and went ahead making the right choices day by day, knowing that the joy of the Lord is set before me. Mm. So even at my worst, even on the days where I want to hide, when mental health issues maybe overcome me, it is the joy of the Lord that is set before Darren Mulligan of We Are Messengers, and it is the cross of Jesus. It yeah. is his death and resurrection. That is my death to sin and my resurrection to life in him, and I will never forget it. 